What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite reviewer. Back at it again with another video from our Gunner Price Books. Before we get started, uh, you can always win a $25 gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber, leave a comment down below. We also have our Whatnot video here. All right, guys, so this is our Whatnot uh, basically shelf. As you can see here, we have some out of print at the top or some absolutes. And then these are going to be the new prizes for the mystery boxes. We have Deathstroke, uh, the new 52, Uncanny X Force the JLA Avengers um, yeah so these are going to be the hardcover without the slip case so this one will not have a slip case they sold it to us without a slip case so that's okay and yeah. then we, we also have the Batman Robin and Batman Eternals which will be in the mystery boxes as price so a total of five out of print omnibuses at, in our mystery boxes um, we also have the Spider-Man Clone Saga entire series uh, that will be going on whatnot for auction as well and then some of the other lots like the East to West, the Descender and then we have uh, an, another Ankeny X Force. These are actually going to be on auction. The other one is the, is the prize. Remember that Daredevil set, Fantastic Four, New X Men, The Mighty Thor. And then we have some of the DC titles here: Death of Superman, Re Red Hood, Batman, and Robin, Wonder uh, Wonder Woman, uh, World War Hulk, some of the Avengers, Star Wars out of there, and the Goons. And then look at this one. This one is so cool. I thought JP was was playing with me that this is how they come, but this is an actual. Uh, Kickstarter, right? Yeah, Bedazzled or something like that. Yeah, so it looks like this. This is such a cool title uh, and cover that, uh, you know, I, I I might bid on it. And there you go, guys. This yeah. is the... We do have a little bit of over here oh, as well. There we and go. then there you go. These are what's going on and whatnot. So I'll see you guys there. All right. Wasn't that cool? Anyway, so let's get started on this. Um, this What's this? X-Men by Hickman Omnibus. Yes. So I think this is, yeah, this is, there's no volume, so I guess this is the only omnibus. So here, here is the DM right here, and here's the standard. Here's what the spine looks like. I know there's going to be a lot of complaints, how the spine is very tiny. Dude, yeah, I was yeah. noticing that, like, I'm like. Yeah, so it looks weird on the show, like, let's, let's put it, like, with all the X-Men right here. Just for example, so you have a lot of X-Men books right here, and then bam, what the heck. <laughs> Yeah, all the spots are very different. Uh, yeah. As you can see, even even some of the like, I don't, I don't really don't like that that they do that for the new House of X. Like, you, it looks like it's just like regular, you know, like lettering. Like it's not like a cool logo like the X Force or the X Factor or even the All New Wolverine. It's just like oh, you know, uh, Times New Roman, size twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So that's what it looks like with the spines on the shelf. So if you guys are bothered about that, just you know, just be aware. Uh, let me put this fatal attractions back. Yeah, because even the front. Uh, put the front again, real quick. All right. Like where it says omnibus is such a weird position up here, uh -huh. and then the logo just kind of looks. I don't. I listen, guys. It looks bland. <laughs> I hate to say it, but yeah. Well, they're like, oh, seventy-five dollars. We're gonna cheap out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there, that, that's what it looks like. Okay, so just be aware of that. All right, let's take off the dust jacket. Oh, nice. So you have the X Men, and you know that's that's basically it on the on the hardcover. So the first one, first modern one with like no actual like art design on it that I've seen so far. Yeah. Anyways, let's take a look of the book and see what it looks like inside. The, the binding is sewn, so it has a nice you know solid ribbon. I guess. Yeah, so there's that. Let's take a look inside. Let's see what it collects real quick. Collect the X-Men 20, 2019, Giant X-Men, all that stuff. Okay, cool. So I haven't read this part yet. I only read Dawn of X, House of X, so all this stuff I actually have not read, but I actually really love like all every character's costume. I like, I like my new, new costume as well. And it's just, it's just a very different take on no, in my opinion, that I've read so far is a different take on everybody, especially uh, X Man's wife. What's her name? Mora, Mori, something like that. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, drawing style on this is amazing. I think out of all the X Men ones, I, I really like how they've done the the modern titles on it. Yeah. Let us guys let us know what you guys think about the the artwork for the, the new modern X Men right here. All their costumes, stuff like that. Do you like how Professor X has a big ass? Helmet with an X right there. I thought that was neat, you know, like that. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of like looks like Cyclops in a way. Yeah. Like that. He looks like the Maker too. You know, you know the the evil Fantastic Evil Reed Richards. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He kind of looks like that too. Yeah. So that was cool. I think you know, like uh, what's his face? David's favorite is always gonna be Emma Frost. <laughs> you know, Emma Frost. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about this omnibus. If you guys are gonna pick it up, if you are, why? If you aren't, why not? Um, but I, dig it. I definitely will give it a read. Does this collect basically all of X Men, Hickman's X Men? Um, I know it was called or just some of the run. I don't know. You let me know because I don't see really House of X, Power of X, and all that stuff in there as well. So I actually don't know how how this timeline goes. Oh, you have magic. Need to get a, a statue of her very soon. <laughs> even though I don't even know what she does. <laughs> the statue looked really cool though. <laughs> yeah, but for for real, this is my favorite X-Men artwork so far. What do you think? It's pretty interesting, yeah. Uh I think it's the same artist who did like the Thor event recent or not recently, but I love how they did the Thor, the modern Thor, and it's like that too. I like oh, yeah. it a lot. Yeah. All right, let's get to the back, see if there's any oh, extra cover. Oh, look, Whoa. it's Gru. No. <laughs> it's an end from Lord of the Rings? No, no that's like the, the, the tree of life or whatever from Krakowin. Or, I don't know. I don't remember. You guys let me know. <laughs> I know there was like a tree that teleports you everywhere or something like that. I forgot. Is that Mystique? Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's David's dream baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> she can be anybody. Oh, that's true. A that's true. So, yeah, so let's get to the back. It looks like there's a lot of extras back here. Yeah. So there's here. And then something happened, I guess, you know, they saved the day or something. And then you have the red diamond. Oh, is there more? No, I think that was. And then you have Emma Frost being Emma Frost. All right, so let's take a look at the extras because you get a pretty ch uh, good chunk. So this is how oh, much wow. you get. And you get a lot of extras for this book. So that's really cool. You guys like artwork. I really like all of these covers. They're really neat. Which one's your favorite? That one's really cool. That Magneto one? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Need some more Magneto statues. Yeah. I know this was a lot of people's fan favorite. He kind of, he kind of reminds me a little bit like Deadpool in a way. Yeah, right? Yeah. His name Phantom X. Yeah. And that. Yeah, That's a cool. Uh, the white costume for him is cool. Yeah, really I, nice. I actually really dig it. It's neat. Here. I was like, is that Spider-Man? No, it's no. not. <laughs> okay. And some people here. So th yeah, this we, you know what we should do? We should start a new uh, a new um, segment every time we do an X-Men book. Mm -hmm. And we pull up a random uh, mutant and be like, who's that mutant? <laughs> and we I name know. them just what, from what they look like. I know, right? It's like, I don't know who this is. Like, this one, I just know it's by Peach Momoko. But I don't know who that is. <laughs> I just know it's Demon Days something, something. So you guys let us know who that was. Yeah. Dang, there's a lot of extras. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Have a lot of extras in here. Pretty good story. Pretty good artwork. I think David will check it out pretty soon. Do a review. Yeah. Do a review over it. I still have to start from the very beginning. I'm an astonishing X Men right now. So still working my way up. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start X Men two recently. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna catch up to JP and we'll <laughs> gossip yeah. about it. All right. So that that's what we have for uh, this upcoming week for um, X Men. So you have the DM here. You have the standard. Let us know which one's your favorite. My favorite is the DM because it's colorful. Yeah, but I, I like know the a DM. lot of people like this one because you have all the characters and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can find it here at organicpressbooks.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.